All right, y'all. Um, let me talk about what I'm gonna do here today before we go in there. I'm doing a full body workout. Um, I'm not going very heavy on anything. I'm gonna do squats. I'm gonna do deadlifts. I'm gonna do bench press. And those are the main three things I'm gonna do. Um, a lot of people already know people that don't really lift and people who there, there might be a few people that's gonna judge what I'm doing. Um they do lift but you know you got your methods and I got mine you know at the end of the day um I don't mean nothing by it but it's just people be coming at me which you got the right to have your opinion you do have the right to your opinion all the time right if you see something you can have your opinion about it right I'm posting the video at the end of the day but for anybody who is saying something negative to me um compare results, all right? If you're talking about building muscle, you know, I got the right to my opinion. Compare results, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you're talking about losing body weight, body fat, there's a difference, and I'm speaking on guys, and there's a difference between shirt on versus shirt off. There's a big difference. Um, Y'all see my before and after. Um, my before picture that I keep on posting all the time, that wasn't even my heaviest weight. I said this a million times. So I'm not going to go into my weight to how much I weighed. But I'm going to just say I did weigh 230 in that picture. But I weighed more in the past. But I'm going to use that as an example because that's the only thing I have. That's the heaviest weight I have on camera that I can find. I got to go through my stuff. I got thousands of videos, right? So, um, 230 was the heaviest weight that I could find on camera. 151 was the lightest and everything in between. I didn't go from heaviest to lightest overnight. I didn't drink some special drink. You mix this with this and some juice and oh my gosh. No, that is not how you lose weight, for one. Uh, but uh, we're not even talking. This, this video ain't about that, you know. I just switched the title of this video. I'm going to still go in there and get my workout in. I'm going uh, to make sure that, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to put this scene first because I think I'm on my real talk right now. And then I'm going to show you the next scene is going to be me pulling up. I'm at the gym now. Me pulling up at the gym saying, well, ain't nobody here. Then I'm going to show you my workout. So stay tuned throughout the whole video. I just gave you the, the text of contents of how the video is going to go. This is going to be the first scene. All right. I already shot two scenes already. But I'm a, I was going to put them in order that they were shot like I usually do. But I think that's one of the reasons I don't have no duration because I do not get to the point quick enough and everybody. And I understand people got other things to do. And then you got people who have attention. Attention spans in human beings, myself included. I'm not talking crap about nobody. We have short attention spans and some are very shorter than others. Some people have nothing but time on their hands and they might have a way longer attention span than you know the average person. I don't know you, so I'm not talking about you. So don't get butt hurt. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking. I don't know you. But uh, my point is shirt on versus shirt off. A lot of people that, and I understand it's a good question for people who don't know. They ask me, why did I lose 60 pounds this year? Uh, well, last year. I was 150 at the end of my diet. So at the beginning of my diet, I'm counting my fingers. I don't remember how much I weighed. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210. That sounds about right. So 210 to 160. Um, that's smaller than I was in that 230 picture. But why do I keep on talking about that? Shirts on versus shirts off, bulking and cutting. Um, how can I put this? It's easy to fool people who do not know what they're looking at. Most people do not understand muscle at all. I didn't understand it until I started really lifting. You cannot put yourself in the shoes of somebody who has been doing this for years. Um, naturally, you know what I'm saying? Why you ain't, you ain't, you talk all this stuff, you brag, I'm not bragging. But if it sounds like I'm bragging or not, let's say I was, right? You're not big as such and such and such. You can name all these names. But I'm natural. I'm doing this natural. Drug free is the way to be over here at Reptile Fitness. I am not gonna put myself. So, back on point. 
I'm not gonna get through that because this this video will be an hour hour and a half long talking about that topic alone, natty or not, right? And talking about guys and talk about how many people claim natty for two decades and and, and, and things been coming to the light lately. You know what I'm saying? It ain't natural. Nobody looks like that natural. Nobody looks like that naturally. Okay, no, 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 let's talk about it. Okay, these guys are 230 pounds. Like I said, I was 230. This, 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 this adds to the point. Guys are 230, give or take. Shredded out of their minds. Some of them bigger than that, like Michael Hearn. Shredded out of their minds at, at, at ages that they shouldn't be looking like that at. Claiming natural. And, and people who don't know they're gonna look at that and think it's natural. Cause you don't know. You're the untrained. When people say the untrained eye, you're the untrained eye. I'm looking at you in your face because yes, I'm talking about you. You're the untrained eye. This is no disrespect. You just haven't been doing this long enough. And if you ain't been doing it at all, you definitely you ain't even, you ain't even been doing it at all. I don't understand what's not to understand. You know what I'm saying? Like Okay, shirt on versus shirt off. You got a guy that's 230 and shredded. Claiming natural. Not just him, I'm just saying like a lot of guys, they do this. A lot of people, in, you know, you got people catching heart attacks and then, then, then um, admitting it like Cali Muscle. Um, God bless. I mean, I watch his stuff, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. But uh, I never took fitness advice from him. I just watched it because it was entertaining. You know what I'm saying? I'm a natural. We can't, we don't, I knew he wasn't natural. Because I'm not the untrained eye. You know what I'm saying? Do, do you understand there's such thing as lies? Have you ever told a lie before? So why do you? Why are you so gullible to, to believe that people aren't lying out here? Why are you so gullible to think that people aren't lying out here? Have you ever got anything stolen from you? Or have you ever stole something? Bad things happen in the world, you know what I'm saying? Whether you consider it bad or whatever, I don't care. But my point was, okay, at 2.30, y'all see my video. Y'all see how fat I looked at 2.30. Y'all seen that I had absolutely no abs at 2.30. I got down to 151. Even before 151, my abs started to show. My abs were showing really good at like 180 or something, 175. I could have stopped there, but I wanted to get a little bit more shredded. For me to walk across stage at very low single digit 5% body fat percentage or something like that, I would have to get down to 140 something. I'm just showing you what the real is. Shirt on versus shirt off. Matter of fact, I think I changed the, the title. Shirt on versus shirt off. Um, just think of the way to say it. I don't, I, I don't know. I be These videos are all off the top of the head. But people can fool you. When I was 230, when I was 230 pounds, I put on a shirt. It could be I had enough to wear, okay, you look like I had a gut with my shirt off. When yeah, with my shirt off, you can see it. There's nothing. The shirt hides things. You know what I'm saying? The shirt hides things. If your stomach, if your chest is sticking out farther than your stomach is, people that don't understand what muscle actually looks like will think it's all muscle. There's a lot of guys out here not talking crap. There's a lot of guys out here with high body fat percentage. I'm just explaining how this actually goes. High body fat percentage. They're actually natural and they're 200 and something pounds. A lot of these guys never cut down to a shredded body fat percentage yet. And guess what? When I was 230, no, I think I had cut down before. I forget, when my, however heavy I was the first time I cut. I could have swore up and down I was going to be 200 and something all muscle. That's why when I tell people I'm 151 pounds, right now I'm not. Right now I'm probably 161 or something like that. Probably more now. I probably gained 10 or more pounds since my lowest body weight. Um, I'm not going to stay that low body weight. I could. I'm. My my plan is to stay in striking distance. That way, if if for some reason I wanted to be ripped right now couple weeks ripped easy peasy you know my diet and plan has been in in, in, in intact for years you know what i'm saying has it tweaked a little bit here and there yes um will it tweak a little bit in the future yes i'm pretty sure you know what i'm saying 
right now my my diet changes on preference basis like when i first started my channel if y'all go to my old videos i was a big intermittent faster i was huge on it but i knew there was other ways um but fasting does not make you lose body fat i'm not saying it's a bad way of dieting i'm not saying i won't ever do it again um i'm just saying like for my goals right now, it doesn't line up for my goals. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I want to maximize the little bit of muscle that I can build. A lot of people don't even understand that right there. Newbie games. Remember I said newbie games earlier? Um, What was that in the other scene? I don't remember. You're not going to put on pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds, and pounds of muscle every year as a natural. I just want to tell you that right now before we even get into it. Like, you're not going to look halfway as, as muscular as, I was going to say it's good, but, you know, good is an eye to beholder. At the end of the day, um, I don't want to look like a Mr. Olympia competitor. I don't want to look like, you know, I can't even wipe my, you know what I'm saying? It, this is not about that. At the end of the day, I want to be as muscular as I could be naturally, but I want to be healthy. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to be like, ugh, that's too much muscle. Those muscles look like dookie. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be like that. I just want to be way more muscular. And I think I'm reaching my goals when I say this. My goals are to be way more muscular than the average man and way leaner than the average man, way healthier as I possibly can be, more healthy than the average man. I just want to be way above average, you know what I'm saying, physically. Um, mentally too but I'm just saying like you gotta you gotta exercise your mind too I'm telling you these things I hope you're listening um and I hope if you made it to this far in the video you didn't like it and you subscribe to the channel if you're already a subscriber welcome back I might be touching on some touchy side subjects for some people but man you do gotta think about your health we have lost a lot of bodybuilders and I say we I'm not a bodybuilder. Um, I'm not even that big of a bodybuilder fan. A lot of people look at me and say, you lift weights, you muscular, this and that, the third. You're a bodybuilder fan. No, I just been paying attention to bodybuilding, building my body for the depth for years. You know, you, you, you tell me that, you ask me to name 10 bodybuilders off the top of my head, I probably couldn't do it. Cause I never really cared about the sport, you know? Um, to me, is it even a sport? I'm not disrespecting it at the end of the day. There's people who are all into it, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it is not healthy and it is not safe. To compete against these guys who are not natural, you have to also, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I cannot compete with these guys. That's like saying my Honda Civic. This is a 2018 Honda Civic. Um, I need to wash my, everything looks dirty, uh, whatever. I'm always busy. But this is 2018 Honda Civic. That's like me going against a Lamborghini or something and thinking I'm going to win. Because I want to so bad. I, I feel it. I, oh, my gosh, I believe. That, that's good to have that good confidence and believe, but that only can take you so far. Reality is still reality. See, that's, that's what it is. Like, people get in their heads and they get out of touch with reality. You know what I'm saying? If shirts on versus shirts off. When I put a shirt on, when I was 230, you would not think I was as fat as I was. You would not think so. I carry myself a certain way, hold my gut in a little bit, you know, puff up a little bit, you know, get a good pump, hit the gym. And to the untrained eye, I'm lean. And you would think that I'm shredded under there, right? Ninety percent of men in the world, I guarantee you. Um, and I was very included in this, what I'm finna say. When I was 275, I don't have pictures of when I was 275, I thought I was gonna be 240 all muscle. There is probably, there's billions of people in the world, so I'm not gonna say there's nobody in the world who doesn't, you know, fit this criteria. But if there is, there's probably like five people in the world who can be two something like that mid tools all muscle and they probably like six five or something like that you know people look at the rock and think he's natural you're the the untrained eye bro 
you're the untrained eye, all right? Of course he ain't gonna admit it. Of course he ain't gonna just spew it out there. Of course he ain't gonna just, you know what I'm saying? But ain't nobody putting on 20, 30, 45, 50 pounds of muscle when they're in their mid 50s. I've been working out for eight years. And this goes, this ain't just me. You might say, oh, you weak. You weak. When I say this, you're gonna say I'm weak if you don't train. If you're if you're not listening, you're gonna say I'm weak. I've been lifting for eight years. I'm lucky to put on five pounds of muscle in a year. I think I can because of you know muscle loss, muscle memory, muscle coming back, this and that and the third, um, hitting target areas. You have to have everything, you gotta know what you're doing. Hitting on uh, weak points, basically. Places I don't have that much muscle wet, I could add I could add a little bit to them areas. You know what I'm saying? I ain't maximize my genetics for those areas. You know what I'm saying? Um, I had a famous YouTuber critique my physique um, a couple weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? Well, a couple months ago, probably now. And he, he pointed out some things. I'm like, wow, he, he right. I could probably put on another 10 pounds of muscle. You know what I'm saying? But there's a genetic limit. We are human beings. You know, we're not like, you know, pythons and anacondas and stuff like that. And snakes that have indeterminate growth. As long as they're alive, they're growing. That's why you have snakes getting up to, dang, people pulling up. You got snakes getting up to 40 feet long nowadays. Back in my days, back when I was a kid, the record was like 30. 30 feet. Now you got plenty of snakes that has broken that record 10 times. You know what I'm saying? One of them was like 40, I think it was a reticulated python. Why are we talking about animals? Because I'm just saying, people think that we can just indeterminately grow. You ain't gonna grow just because, it doesn't matter if your diet plan was perfect. It doesn't matter if, I know that guy. It doesn't matter if your diet plan perfect, your workout can be perfect, you can be as consistent, you can have all your ducks lined up. Nobody's perfect, I get it. Somebody's gonna say that, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna throw everything I just said in the trash just because, okay, I said perfect and nobody's perfect. That means you don't know what you're talking about. The uh-uh stage. You're in the uh-uh stage. You're you're learning. You have to listen, man. You have to listen, man. You know. So, compared to shirts, some of our shirts off, I'm getting back on that. I keep on getting off topic, on topic. Okay, when I'm 151 with my shirt off, you see what I look like. If I didn't tell you I was 151 pounds, you would probably think I was two something. A lot of people, I swear I could. That's like when I tell people my age, I'm 38. People, I thought you was in your mid 20s. Take care of myself. But at the end of the day, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is the untrained eye is easily fooled. That's why a lot of people have these diets that they, they, they get on these fad diets. They get on these gimmicky diets. They, they use these devices and take these pills and fat burners and, and, and cleanse juices and this and that and the third. They think that they have to cut out this. They have to. They don't listen to nothing I say. I've been on YouTube for three years. Three years. Giving the game. Some of my videos suck, especially lately. Well, I, I thought I was just touch in with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what was I saying about 151? Oh, shirt on. Shirt off? I look like amazing dang Marvel superhero or something. Shirt on. When I wear, even right now at 160, if I wear the wrong shirt, what do I mean by the wrong shirt? If I wear a shirt with even a little bit of bagging, well, now I could kind of get away with I'm 160. But when I was 150, if I even have a little bit of bagginess to the shirt, it'll look like I don't even lift. A lot of people are saying, you superficial, you cocky, you this and that and the third. No, at the end of the day, when you work hard for something... <laughs> You wanted the show. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people... Okay, if I'm in the gym, I'm not one of the guys that flex and poses in between every set. But flexing and posing in between sets does help with your muscle. You know, how does it? 
mind muscle connection. It helps you learn how to retract and contract those muscles. It actually helps you with your abs. It actually helps you with every muscle that you're flexing. It forces more blood into the muscle. If you understood, I've been on YouTube for three years. This video has been dragging a long time, but I've been on YouTube for three years. I've been teaching all of this stuff. Go through my catalog. Anything that I say in this video and like halfway touch on and then touch all the way on, type in Rep and Time Fitness, type in how to, and type in whatever it is that you wanna learn. Simple as that. If you made it this far in the video, you owe it to yourself at the end of the day. There's no cockiness. It's not. It is not being cocky. It's being real. It's explaining to you the things you want to, that you need to know. Telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. I have never done that. Just titles of videos that I had kind of clickbaity and like, you know, okay, people that believe this, I need to get their attention by making the video seem like it's about this, but then when you click on the video, you get the real. I've had that abs fast and this and that. You're not going to get abs fast. You're not going to get abs overnight. My before and after picture did not happen overnight. It did not. It did not. It cannot. It will not. It won't not. So I just want to tell you what the, the, the difference is. When I'm lean, when a natural lifter is lean, not saying I'm the biggest natural in the world, not saying I'm the natural limit. I'm just saying, like, there's not people that much bigger than me, natural. That's not too long horn. I'm just saying, human beings, we don't get that big. Some people have genetics to get twice bigger than what I am. Like I said about The Rock, people will be like, yeah, but what about his dad and this and that? Like, who's, who says his dad was natural? Like, I like C.T. Fletcher. C.T. Fletcher was, yeah, he's dope. But he claimed, he's like Cali Muscle. He claimed to be natural for 20-something years. I'm just keeping it real. I don't mean to ruffle no feathers because, I, I mean, I'm a big fan. I'm not a big fan. Of, I'm not a fan of anybody. I watch it. But I don't take the advice seriously. When I know somebody's not natural, I don't take the advice seriously, man. Because at the end of the day, everything I've done on this channel, I've done naturally. When y'all see my 365 bench press, might not have been as impressive as a 500, 600 pound bench press. Might not have been a Julius Madison, any of these guys. But it was drug free. It was all drug free. So to me, it's way more impressive. And pound for pound. You know, it might not be Larry Wills. It might not be, you know, none of these guys. But it's natural. Ooh. But yeah, man, whatever, man. Um, I've been talking long too long. God dang, am I gonna get my lifting footage in? Like I said, I'm gonna keep it real. I, I don't think I am. It's already three o'clock. It was like I've been talking to y'all for like thirty minutes. You know, because like, like I said, this ain't the first scene, so I've been talking for like 30 minutes. My pre-workout is kicking in. A couple cars have pulled up to the gym, and I, I guarantee you by the time I warm up, there's going to be more people. It's hard to film with people. Then it's hard to work out, let alone it's hard to work out with people. Uh, I'm calling out names for example. I mean, I'm not dissing nobody, no disrespect, you know. Allegedly, this and that and the third. Um, I mean, but people be admitting stuff nowadays. I mean, it's the thing to do. You know, Rich Piana, um, Boston Lloyd, rest in peace, Rich Piana. But those guys, they made it um, popular to uh, to admit. You know what I'm saying? It's none of my business who's on what. It's your personal choice. You know, to me, it's a selfish choice, but, you know, that's just my opinion. But uh, you do what you. You gotta weigh your options, pros and cons. You know what I'm saying? You got one life to live. You gotta live your life the way you choose to live your life. Um, 
there's consequences to every action. Um, I do things that's there's been times where I speed in my car. I don't do it no more. I drive way more safely nowadays. <laughs> About two decades ago, shoot. I was a way different driver than I am now. You grow or you learn. I mean, but but the thing is, I, I just want to advise to know. You don't have to learn the hard way. Put it like that. You don't always have to learn the hard way. You don't always have to learn something is a mistake by your own hands-on experience. You know what I'm saying? If, if, for instance, if, if we got fucking, if we got three doors right here, and one of these doors has a tiger in it, and, and we we can get out. One is the exit. One has a tiger in it. Or one is something else. I don't know. Three doors. I'm not gonna come up with all this off the top of my head. This scenario has been played out before. I've said it on my channel. But if we're about to go on one of these doors, me being the person I am, <laughs> I'll let you go through the door first, right? And uh, you made it through. Okay, that's the exit right there. But if you go in the door, you, that, that was the door with the tiger in it. Oh, I know not to go in that door now. Hopefully, you closed it behind you. Matter of fact, I'm going to close it behind you. You in that door? You, going, you sure? You know what I'm saying? Close the door behind you real quick. But now I know that ain't the door, so I got two other options. Hopefully the other option ain't that bad. I don't know. Maybe it's just a room and I could go out the door. And I don't know. But um, you can learn from other people's mistakes, man. A wise man, a smart man learns from his own mistakes. Uh, wise man, you're even smarter. I mean... If you learn from your mistakes and other people's mistakes, if I see that something, if I, the best to emerge from the game is the watcher, put it like that. Comment, like, subscribe, share, holla back at your boy. Peace. Yeah, there won't be no work off. My bad. My bad. My bad. I'm, I'm a matter of fact, I'm a voiceover. So I won't be misleading anybody. Hopefully you watch the whole video. I'm a voiceover. Or no, I'm going to edit it to where like I cut the scene. And then I'm going to say. See, I'm trying to work on this editing and, and fixing, piecing together. my. I'm trying to get better at videos too. That's another reason why my workout videos ain't been up. But I'm about to work out. Still about to get it in. I'm not giving up on that. I just might not be able to show y'all. I got thousands of, I got 1,800 videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna piece together, I'm gonna edit the video, cut the scene, then I'm gonna say it in between that I didn't get no workout footage and I got a good message. The best thing you get, the best message you gonna hear all day if you're in the fitness, you know. Don't believe gimmicks. Don't believe you're going to get abs in two weeks. Don't believe that, you know, waist trainers work or you have to cut out all your carbs or you have to cut out meat or you have to cut out. You don't have to go vegan. You know, no disrespect to vegans. I got vegan friends and family. Um, all do disrespect to the ones that be disrespecting other people, though. You know what I'm saying? I always tell people, like, man, you're not going to. And let's say your way is right. Let's say your way is right. I, I disagree, but at the end of the day, let's say I'm wrong. I could be wrong, you know, but uh, let's say your way is right. You will get more people to see things your way if you stop going at their throats like that. <laughs> All right, whatever, man. I'm just saying. I'm just That's just my opinion, you know. So, But the ones that keep it calm, cool, collective, and respect others, hey, I respect people that respect me. But I don't think you have to cut out meat to get fit. I don't think you have to cut out carbs. I don't think you have to go carnivore. That's that's crazy. I mean, you go cut, you go go carnivore. You go cut out all your fruits and vegetables. That's the thing, though. People people do these diets that they're not gonna stick to for the rest of their life, and they expect that. Okay, let's say whatever whatever is hot here. Let's say whatever method you take gets you to your goal. Um, for instance, a lot of people cut their, people that do understand cutting their calories, right? But a lot of people cut their calories too much. 
to the point where they're starving themselves. They're going to lose a lot of weight. They're going to lose more weight than somebody who's not starving themselves. But it's going to be a shorter amount of time. It's like you got a slingshot and you pulling it back, 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 back. Pow, it's going to eventually snap. The rubber band going to break. It's going to pop. But when it pops, it's going to pop. So my point is, let's say you get a six-pack by starving yourself. When you reach that six-pack, when you get that goal, then what? How you going to keep it? Where you going to go from there? Where you going to go from there? You done played all your pieces. Well, you could have done it the right way, the slow and steady way that you feel like you're not even on a diet. The stuff that I preach. Am I the only one that preaches this? Um, no, but at the end of the day, I'm, it's rare. Most people are going to tell you what you want to hear because they want those views. They're going to sell you a whole bunch of bullshit, whether they're selling you something or not. I'm not hating on anybody with a bigger channel than me, but I'm just trying to uh, listen to what I'm saying before you say that. If you're saying that, hopefully you're not. Well, it's been 30 some minutes, so at the end of the day, you made it this far in the video, you're clearly not a hater. You're clearly listening. Hopefully, you're taking a pen and pad, writing things down that you might forget. We're human beings. You know, that's the one thing you got to remember that you're a human being. Like, I get off track and I forget what I'm saying half of the time. And it's a, you're a human being, all right? Write it down. Implement it. You know what I'm saying? But whether or not, I didn't forget what I, I, I got it. Whether or not they're selling you a product, if they're going viral, they have a great incentive to lie to you. A greater incentive to lie to you than I do. I could be lying. At the end of the day, I got an incentive to lie to you too, but I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to point it out. I am a small channel who has been busting his butt for three years. Haven't been monetized. I know there ain't that much money in this, but at the end of the day, I feel like it's some. Um, if I could get a couple hundred extra dollars a month on top of what I get paid already at my job, that's good money to me. That's not a living. That's not... <laughs> That's not enough to live off of, but that's good. That's added. You know what I'm saying? So I got a send up to lie to you, too. That's good enough. Trust me. Have I ever lied before? Yup. You have, too. We're human beings. Um. So how do we know who to believe? You got to analyze it. You know what I'm saying? You got to analyze it. Somebody who's going viral, every time they make a video, they get two, three, four, five hundred thousand views. They have great reason to, 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 to be all flashy and have all these drone shots and this and that and the third. So you tell you what you want to hear. Yes, you can do it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. And you buy it. Don't buy it to the bush. <laughs> all right. And if you think I'm telling you bush, hey, analyze it. Think about the things I've said to you. You know what I'm saying? Take everything with a grain of salt. Think that's how I go? Does it make sense? Does it not make sense? Don't just fall for the okie doke. Don't be that gullible. You're a grown man, grown woman, whoever. You cannot live your life being that gullible. Like I was telling somebody the other day. Somebody stole my money from lottery. Lottery tickets, a scratch off, whatever. Because I had just started scratching off whether you believe I should scratch off or not. None of your business. This is that is not the point. <laughs> That's not the point. The point is I told them, um, you know, people are dishonest and people will fool you. If they got a chance to fool you, they will. This lady, uh, I thought I had won a hundred dollars and I did. You know what I'm saying? I didn't realize it till afterwards. She was like, This isn't even a winner because she started explaining things. But then after I learned what I was doing with scratching that was a winner. She took my hundred dollars. And I thought back on it, it was like a while later. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. People are that dirty. You gotta remember, have you ever stolen anything? Have you ever had something stolen from you? Have you ever lied? Have you ever You gotta look around? What world do you live in? Please. Like 
You know, if things are perfect around you, I need to move to wherever you live in. You know what I'm saying? Things ain't been perfect nowhere I've ever lived. I've been all over this country. I'm from Saginaw, Michigan. I'm here in Anderson, South Carolina. I've stayed in Seneca, Clemson. I've been to Minnesota, Iowa, Florida. Um, you name it. Everywhere in the Midwest, Chicago, blah, blah, blah. I'm not naming all the states I've ever been. Because that'll be this video already long enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been around the country, basically. Basically, right? Um first half of my year, I ain't never leave my state. But I've been around different cities in my state. Michigan, Detroit, Flint, stayed in Flint. I drank that water too. Uh, Flint, Saginaw, I'm not naming all the cities in Lansing, Buena Vista. I've been to all the cities in Michigan. Not all of them. I'm just saying a lot of them. A good bit. Probably a quarter of them. I don't know. How many cities is in the state? I don't know. I that's that's the thing though. That that's that, that brings me to the point. Y'all, not y'all. I don't know who you are personally. I'm just saying people. A lot of people they see something since you've seen it on your screen. Everything's believable. I could tell you anything right now, and a lot of people believe it. I can tell you, you can't see nothing but but my chest up. I can tell you, I ain't got on no pants. I do. I got my shorts and drawers, all that. I can tell you that. Who's to say I ain't got it though? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe, and share. I'll look back at your boy. This is a wrap. Tell me if you like the video. Tell me if you like the talk. Um, I'm gonna have to title this. I was gonna, this was gonna be a full workout video. Dang, I could have done a full workout by now. This is some pre. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you what pre workout I'm taking. A lot of people eh, shouldn't be advertised for. I'm not sponsored. This is just good stuff. I always tell you what I like and what works for me. This is called Woke AF. You probably can't see it. Bucked up, Woke AF, black, whatever. But, um, yeah. I tell you what supplements I take. I tell you how to eat. I tell you how, I tell you what I do and what works. That way you can analyze it and have a better idea or on how you can do it. Because eventually, I was about to leave. I got another thing to tell you. A wise, I ain't gonna call him wise. I don't even like the dude, right? A dude that I don't even like. And a lot of times I get my best lessons from people I don't even like. A dude that I do not even like at all. <laughs> I respect him. There's things I like about him, but there's been enough beef between us that we... I don't ever think we'll see eye to eye. But there's a mutual respect. I don't think he's as bad as... I thought he was, and I'm pretty sure he sees me the same way. It's just been enough to wear a man, dog. No, I ain't going to say like that. It, 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 that. That means it is mendable. It's very mendable. It's, it's very mendable at the end of the day. You know, I don't think... I just think we had a misconception, mis, misunderstanding of each other, whatever. Something like that, misunderstanding. So by God's by God. So I ain't going to say I don't like him. I don't like him. <laughs> but I respect him. You know, mutual respect. You know, But that's not the point. I'm rambling, so I'm trying not to get off point. The point was, he told me that your job needs to be to work yourself out of a job. So I'm taking that and carrying that on to what I'm doing with this YouTube. As an uh, influencer, online life coach, whatever you want to call me. I don't, I don't know what I am. I'm just trying to tell you the real. I'm a real, I'm a realist, all right? I'm real when it comes to this fitness stuff. All right. Um, he said that your job should be to work yourself out of a job, basically. And what that means is, related to this, what we're doing right here, this talk we're having, um, my job is to work myself out of a job. My job with this right here is to get you, the listener, the viewer, to to not need me anymore. Not right after this video. You don't need, you still need me. You're still a beginner. If you're a beginner, you still need guidance. But I need to get you to that point. And this is probably gonna take you a year, two years, three years, whatever. Am I gassing you up to keep getting watch time and views? 
analyze everything I already just said, and then come up with your own answer. You need to answer that yourself. Because I easily say, no, I'm not. Could I be lying? Am I lying? Oh, that's the title. Am I lying? Am I lying? That's dope. Hmm. Okay, there's two sides to me. You know what I'm saying? Part of me just wants to be the man. The other part don't even give a f you understand? Part of me, the part of me that wants to be the man is telling you all the real stuff. But the other side of me, I don't think there's nothing dirty with it. I do want views. I do want watch time. I do want people to share my video. I do want people to like, subscribe, and watch all my videos. But at the end of the day, I have to give them something. If I'm selling a product and a product doesn't work, why would somebody buy the product? I'm not selling you anything. You're watching this video for free. But I'm saying, though, time. Time is money. So I'm selling you a product still. Ooh, that's dope. That's off the top. See what happens when you talk a lot? Dope things come out. I used to freestyle rap all the time. But if I was selling you a product, let's say this was magic. Not magic. I don't, we ain't even going down that route. But let's say this was water that was supposed to, like Michael Jordan went um, on Space Jam and the water was just water and he gave him it and then he, he like wrote something on the bottle or whatever and they went hype. They always had it in them though, right? But let's say this was something like that and you find out it was just regular water. Are you gonna buy it again? As a matter of fact, I think they stole that from Dragon Ball Z. Cause when he went up to Korra's Tower, <laughs> Goku as a kid, and uh, they probably never, I don't know. Uh, uh, I'm not trying to analyze where this originated at. I don't got time for that. I gotta go work out. Y'all messing me up, talking to me too much. <laughs> See, this is what I be talking about. But, um, but if I sold you this water, and you found out it was regular water, are you gonna buy it again? Whether you find out you had it in you or not, will you buy it again? But if I sold it to you, and it made you, you know, what is called the placebo effect? If, uh, 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 would you be mad at me that it was just regular water? At the end of the day, a lot of this stuff is common sense. That doesn't mean you don't need guidance, and I might be shooting myself in the foot with this. I mean, at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff is common sense, but as a beginner, you do not, you're not at the level to, I always tell people, count your calories, right? I guess, and I eyeball my calories nowadays because I've, I've had to practice. I've had years of counting calories. I can eat this whole bag of chips and burgers and all kinds of stuff and not even get that. Why? Because I know my maintenance calories. And I know how to eyeball and guess calories. Just like I used to be a carpenter. There are certain measurements, certain things we used to do that didn't need a perfect measurement. Yo, cut me about a foot of that log right there. I mean, that um, wood right there, whatever, that board. This has been years. I ain't been doing this. <laughs> it's been about 15 years. Hey, but I don't think it's been that long. But um, it's been a, uh, probably almost 10 years. I've been at my job now nine years. So it's been probably over 10 years since I did construction. Um, Somebody will say, cut me about a foot. I'll cut you about a foot. If you measure it, it'll be give or take. About an inch away, straight up. Same thing with, with, with counting my calories. If I'm shooting for 2,500 calories a day or whatever I'm shooting for, um, I'm gonna get back to count my. I took a break of counting calories this month to get back on it, but uh, yeah, I'm thinking about it because I barely have any. I'm looking at the memory time, you don't see it, but it's right there on my phone. I'm at 44 minutes. I got 55 minutes of uh, recording time. I got so many videos. You know what I'm saying? I might. This might just be one take. Yeah, this ain't no full body workout. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna gimmick. I'm not gonna. You know what I'm saying? But that's what I'm saying. Like, you need that practice. Back to what I was saying. You know, do not. As a beginner, you should not be teaching yourself. Am I lying? Ooh, that's to the beginner. Of me. Am I lying? But I said all that stuff about those other guys. Am I lying? That could protect. 
Yo, that is so dope. That's a good thing about waking up this early, man. Waking up early in the morning, man. Being already woke. I might look a little sleepy a little bit. I mean, it's just a while. Uh, don't be teaching yourself. There's a lot of people who have just started New Year's. You know, people believe in New Year's resolution. Type in Rapid Time Fitness. I'm going to advertise myself a little bit. Um, type in Rapid Time Fitness New Year's. I got thousands of videos about New Year's. Um, was that to help me get views? It didn't work, but yeah, it kind of was. But at the end of the day, it was also very informative. I put my foot into that stuff. A business is that every business from the people who bottle this water to the people that make the bottle of the water and to the people that make the, the machines that the water go through to the water. They're all making money. Support. We don't have a lot of support in our community. man. Um, we expect everything for free. For instance, I used to sell pit bulls. I put my money into that. I put my time, effort, everything. You know, the dog food quality, food quality is. I should have been feeding raw. I think when I start over, I'm going to start over with dogs. I used to be a dog person. You probably looking at me like, man, you, you got, got that demeanor. I was a dog person. I was a dog man for real. Like, I didn't do anything illegal or stupid. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I had those bloodlines. I had those. That, that was what, what kind of pit bulls I had. I had real pit bulls, right? I didn't have what you, to the untrained eye, you would think a pit bull is 180 pounds. They're not even a quarter of that. <laughs> we, that's another, that's, I ain't even gonna talk about that video, man, because that, I don't even have dogs right now, so I can't even, you, you, you a dog, man, you, you got dogs. But yeah, when I start over, I don't even know what route I'm going on. I'm thinking about mastiffs and bad dogs, but, uh, I want to make my own mixture, you know. A mixed dog is a mutt. It's not a, you ain't been in the dog world, bro. And at the end of the day, every dog was mixed in their origin. Every breed of dog, they mix this with that to make this and that. Then they... Never mind. Never mind. I was telling this dude that uh, when I used to do construction, I was talking about the Dogo Argentino. And what dogs was mixed together to make that breed. He was like, this mix? That's a mud. <laughs> you gonna tell me you get... I can't breathe when I talk to certain people. Um, I go through a midlife crisis when I talk... <laughs> Yo, man, I'm dead serious, man. I really think I'm going through a midlife crisis, but at the end of the day... People call me crazy, man. I'm like, man, dog. When you first called me crazy, uh, hey, I was trying to do that. Dang, I was doing a lot of videos lately. Like, uh, I, I did the, like, uh, the lines from movies. That was from Juice, right? He was like, Pac was like, Tupac was like, yeah, the last time he said it, something. And then he's like, no, I don't give a Dang, man, I gotta watch some movies, man. Like, I used to know movies live for line, bro. It's been years. I was saying in my last video, I was talking about some minutes to society stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing to help my channel. Like, I'm not crazy. I'm just playing. Playing a part. I need to learn how to act, man. There's a lot of things I got on my mind to make my channel a lot better. And that's another reason why y'all usually don't see me this much. Y'all don't y'all don't see me talking face to face to y'all that much. I just wanted to talk to y'all face to face for a minute. And talk to about talk about some stuff like that I'm trying to do. But my acting skills, I'm working on them. My editing skills need a lot of work, but I'm working on it. I don't know what I'm. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Fitness wise, yes. My fitness information, yes, yes, yes. Full confidence. Everything else needs to come up to the point. Like I think, two more more. You can you can say whatever. One to ten. I'm a ten when it comes to my fitness information. 
I'm better than 99.9% .9 of YouTubers when it comes to, I, I don't care what nobody say. My stuff works. See the results. The proof is in the pudding with my fitness. It's everything else I gotta work on. I gotta work on my editing. I gotta take, I gotta, my problem, my biggest problem, I know my biggest problem. The only way to get through something is to know what your biggest problem is. My biggest problem is I lack the patience to sit there and learn a new, you can't take a old, teach an old dog new tricks, man. I'm an old man. Oh my gosh. I am an old man. Oh, it's like, it's like 10 cars here now. Messing around with y'all, but I'm cool though, man. It's cool. If you, if you've been watching this on video this long, I'm cool with messing up. I'll throw away a workout for somebody who's actually listening. If you're watching this far, you are the real MVP. And from the truest bottom of my heart, I really mean this. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Come back. Make sure you watch everything. Because this... This isn't even like, hopefully this video was informative, but this isn't, hmm, would I say this is my best work? Off the top, just chilling, talking in the car, yeah. But my walk and talk cardio videos, the ones that I really put in the effort, I did not try to sit here in the car and talk to y'all. But the ones that I put in the most effort and the ones that like, my workout videos and how to bench press, things like that, my deadlift videos. Um, I got a video titled Record Time Fitness, the most important deadlift video you will see on YouTube. Something like, something like that. That video breaks down how to deadlift. I got videos on how to do leg day. I got a video leg day, how to set up your machines. A lot of people don't know how to set up their machines to their body. Those machines were, that's why they're adjustable. They're meant to adjust to your body. Different people are different height. You got somebody, Shaquille O'Neal, height and somebody look little Kim height. I'm old. I'm naming old people. I don't know who y'all listen to nowadays. But uh they can't work out on the same machine without adjusting. You see what I'm saying? I'm just going to stream. You got <laughs> Chihuahuas and, and, and English Masters. The biggest dogs in the world and the small smallest dogs in the world, right? They're not the same. We are not the same. But, you know, a lot of people go overboard with that we're not the same thing. Because even exact opposites, we're more alike than we are different. That's why I hate the thing that, I hate the saying that what works for me works for me and this and that and the third. A lot of people use that as a crutch just to shut you up. Ignorance. They like to ignore. Break down the word ignorance. Ignorance. You like to ignore knowledge. You like to ignore knowledge, man. We all do. It's human nature, but we have to catch ourselves when we're doing that. You're not going to learn unless you listen. That's why I always tell people to hang it up. Well, you being, you being mean, repping time, and you saying that people should just give up on their goals. I'm about to go, but no and yes. People around me that I personally know, I be wanting them to give up so bad because they're getting in my way. You who's watching, oh, I don't know where you live at. You might not live nowhere near me. We might not never see each other in real life. You're not in my way. <laughs> Yo, I want you to reach every goal. Hey, you watching me? I want you to reach every goal you can reach. Positive goals, positive things. You some crazy person. I don't, I don't nothing to do with your goals. Shoot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, hey, man, comment, like, subscribe, share. Holla back at you. Ooh, peace.